morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Wednesday, September 10th, 2025, and Flame looks like we're in the middle of the forest. This is a little intense for, oh, you want to talk about some friends of yours that, oh, they have multiple parts of their life you want to talk about? That's very interesting. Well, before you get going on that, dragons, let's hear what Hannah has to say. Take it away, Hannah. Superb job, Hannah. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. Flame, did you notice, did you notice that it's still warm outside? And what are some other things that you wanted to talk about with all this warm weather? Some of your buddies that are around now? Oh, you want to, okay. Well, you want to talk about butterflies or do you want to talk, you want to talk about caterpillars and butterflies? All right, well, we'll start with caterpillars. So dragons, the first friend of Flame is a caterpillar which is part of the butterfly life cycle. That's a great point, Flame. Caterpillars start from eggs, work their way into a caterpillar phase before they make this thing called a chrysalis. A chrysalis is sort of like this little cave that they make on their own where they get ready just before they get, they come out of their chrysalis to become butterflies. And yeah, that's a good point, Flame. We gotta ask the dragons our favorite question. Caterpillars and butterflies are they herbivores, which means they eat only plants? Are they omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat? Or are they carnivores, which means they eat meat? Flame? That would be hilarious if they were carnivores. You ever see a butterfly <laughs> eat meat? That would be intense, but no, you're right, Flame. They are herbivores. And dragons, you might spot this too. You spotted this, Flame? That's super cool. So you're telling me you found this leaf. And dragons, if you notice in your yard or in your park or a park nearby a recess, if there looks like there's some sort of a leaf or a plant that looks like it's been eaten, maybe in a tricky spot like in the middle or around the branches, this is a neat little, looks like an elephant ear, <laughs> lots of food there, then the caterpillar might have already been there. And look at this photo, how about that? Oh, the two student, Calvin and Milana. Dragons, check this out, let's count together, one, Two, three, four, five, six caterpillars in the Camelot Caterpillar Butterfly Pollinator Garden. How about that? They're right here on the property, so you might be able to see them sooner than later. And when they become butterfly dragons, you know how pretty they are. They might be a vibrant sort of orange. They might be a beautiful purple. They might be all kinds of colors like blue, maybe a pretty shade of white, and they are a product of going through their own life cycle. So they know they're friendly, and they know that their actions, their actions certainly help others. We'll get into that right after. Da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. So wait, you're telling me we weren't here at school yesterday? That's, that's kind of neat. No school, but now we're back. We're back in the saddle, dragons, on a Wednesday. We gotta make sure we didn't miss any birthdays yesterday. That was the ninth. Well, dragons, we didn't miss a birthday. On the ninth, we had Levi in fourth grade. Happy birthday, Levi. Let's get to the 10th. On the 10th, we've got Maximus in kindergarten. Happy birthday to you, Max and Elena in fourth grade. Oh, very cool. Three dragons. One yesterday and two today. Very cool. Now, dragons, let's talk a little bit one more time, Flame, about caterpillars and butterflies. You found this too? Yeah, they're attracted to really neat colors. You found these sort of purple and pink are very cool looking flowers that that are become they become uh, attracted to and their butterflies are what are called pollinators pollinators so pollinators their actions you know what butterflies do that's right flame they go and not only do they eat some of the nectar 
and some of the tasty treats that come from flowers, but then when they flap their wings and they go from flower to flower, they make the flowers and the plants and the trees just a little stronger, just a little healthier. We get new plants after winter, thanks in large part to caterpillars and thanks in large part to butterflies. So on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Slano. Go enjoy nature, dragons. Get outside, see if you can spot a caterpillar or a butterfly because that makes us see the goodness, makes us be the goodness. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks everyone.